And before that, we decided to go outside and check the mail. And it looks like something has arrived today. Let me drop that real quick. What is it? It's from by by whisk. I gotta know how to pronounce that damn name. I buy this brand all the time, and I don't know how to pronounce it. How do you say it? Is it by Kiss Sky? Is it by Whiskey? What's the name of the damn fucking shit? Ice Dragon. See, I can read that. I understand that. It's some kind of controller. I don't know. Let's uh, let's get up here in the sun and. We'll open it, see what it is. That's cool, I've never seen it come in a, a bag before like this. But I think this is my LED kit for my CPUs or for my water blocks. See, this company, by whiskey, they make Freeze Mod and Borrow and all that. They're all the same company. So, they make LED kits for their stuff. Okay, so we got some 3M tape on that side. Alrighty. What's that? Okay, so that's the sensor. That's what actually picks up the remote. And let's see here. Uh, there's the LED. Watch it not work. And it looks like it's power to a Molex which is fine because Molex carries a little bit higher current than SATA even though they're both 12 volt um, I think one carries like you know two amps and the other one probably carries one amp or something like that a standard Wi-Fi or a infrared standard infrared controller cool well so that's what came today excellent Titan rig. It's not very big. Huh. Well. Let's take a look. They got it stapled. Are you serious? Uh, damn it. Hold on. Ah, I managed to get the top off. Alright, he got a new uh, Titan rig sticker. Could always use one of them. Now, I hope that this is the right diameter tubing. <laughs> I've only checked it eight times. Oh, this is these are nice. These are different. Well, I'm usually buying Primo Chill. That's why. Cool. And these, these feel a lot thicker than the other ones that I was receiving. Or that I bought. Oh yeah, those are way thicker. Cool. I'm gonna compare these to the uh, the other ones I just bought. Okay, so the so the tube on the right is the smaller diameter one, and the one on the left is the correct diameter one. But if you look here, the colors are off as well. We went with this entire dark tubing in the computer and they sent us this almost light blue it looks the same maybe on camera but I can tell that this is a light blue and this is like a dark blue um, but I don't really care I just I just wanted to make sure that the diameters were correct and they are so that's good thank God I can go ahead and I'll go ahead and place another order for this stuff um, I wasn't going to buy two like I did last time and get two of the wrong thing. I'm going to order one set, and if it's the right, then I'll order another set. So this was from Borrow. Awesome. <sighs> Messes to clean up. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a box of random tech stuff. Now, none of this stuff is mine. I just received it today 
What it is, is that we had a computer store that went out of business. And I actually knew the people that ran the store. Well, they left and they left what they took what they wanted and everything else they just left behind so when I went back to the store to see if they were still there because I knew they were being evicted the landlord was there and he said yeah come on in uh, if there's anything you like you can take there's a couple boxes over there full of shit I don't know what it is but you're more than welcome to have it so I brought it home so we're gonna look through it there is all kinds of stuff in here there's RAM there's power supplies, there's like old uh, windows, drivers, and look, there's a gigabyte to something. I don't know. Uh, this would be great eBay material, definitely. So I thought we would go through it, look at it, see what's in the box. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel, because we know you need to be with us, family. And if you don't subscribe, you'll have 10 years of bad luck. I'm just playing. Well, maybe I'm not. Who knows? I might be into that kind of voodoo, you never know. But anyway, let's open this crap up and see what's in it. Hmm, laptops, huh? Let's see here, there's even this bag. Oh wow, it has like an old Toshiba in it. Check that out. Wow, so we have an Acer, an a Healer Packard, a Toshiba, a Dell, another Toshiba. Let's see, oh my god. Wow, this thing's actually pretty nice for as old as it is. It has, uh, let's see here, what are the specs on it? It has an Intel Celeron. 30 gig HDD, 256 megabyte of DDR SD RAM, boosts performance, has a 15 inch diagonal active matrix display, integrated memory, wireless DVD player, Windows XP. Wow, this is an old laptop and it actually is in incredible condition. You guys remember when American Online was AOL and all that stuff? You remember all that? You had to put the window, the internet CDs in so you can get internet? Wow. All right. Let's see. Let's look at this Acer. This is what I really wanted to look at was this Acer. Ugh. It's not easy to do with one hand. Damn. This ain't bad either. What's this got in it? This has a Pentium and a Windows 7 in it. Wow. What is that? Is that the power button to it? Check that out. That's the power button. Very nice. This is actually in pretty decent shape. I wonder if the screen's cracked. No, don't look cracked. Wow, okay, cool. Oh boy, look at the bottom of it. Jeez, it's seen better days. I'll just set that there. Let's go over to this one. Let's see what's in this. You know, I'm just, I'm really expecting to open one of these up and just find keys missing out of it or halfway taken apart wow and you know what's funny too is because these laptops were the same ones that they were going to try to sell to me for like 20 bucks a piece and ironically I end up with them anyway let's see here let's turn the power on see if the power comes on I doubt it nope nothing wow I have a universal cell phone or no cell phone a universal laptop charger um, I will have to see if it will fit any of these and maybe I can get one of them to kick on because a working laptop that would be that would be a good little you know 75 maybe 80 bucks for one let's see here which way is this one open here we go opens that way alright so this one's a little newer it has an A8 in it an AMD A8 I think that's bulldozer or maybe it's pile driver I can't remember. Has quad core in it. That's awesome. EPA Gold Windows 7. So it's it's a few years old, but it's it's not that old. It's a satellite LA55D. Oh, that's good that it has a serial number on it. That way I can look it up and find out if I can cuz <clears throat> You know, if these things just don't have chargers to them and there's nothing, you know, too wrong with them, maybe I can get them working again. 
And, oh, we got a Dell over here. Let's see here. Dell. What's that say? Windows. Windows 8. That says Windows 8 on it. Oh. So, okay. So, this is a little, little newer. The newest of them all. Because this one had, that one had seven. Ooh. God. Man, let's, hold on. Try to open it with one hand again. Oh, wow. Damn, I can't believe how good of shape these are. Intel inside, but look at that. See, there's like moisture. I don't know if this has been wet or what. Wow, impressive. I'm excited, dude. I love things like this. This is awesome. When I have stuff to go through, I think it's awesome. All right, let's look in this. Ooh, doggy. Look at all the shit in here. What is all this? Molex. HD fan power just random stuff Let's see here we got some green arrow cool fans that's kind of cool green arrow cool fans all right awesome awesome what else is in here uh, that is a DVI cable uh, this looked like it went to a desktop power supply or a bench top power supply or something like that. Not like one you'd put in your computer, but one that you could. But anyway, it has alligator clips and then it ends to like those D rings. So this is that's good to have, especially in uh, you know my my shop full of tools and everything. You know, I I gotta have the good stuff. Uh, let's see here. Got a power supply in here. Ooh, a nice cheapo. Uh oh, did that come off of that? Let's see here. Nope, has everything on it. What is it? Hold on, it's a, uh, let's see here. A Lodge, Lodge Sys. Wow, this is an old power supply. Look at that, August of 2006. Wow, this is an old one. You know, we're going to do a, uh, a build here, a 2010 gaming build. We're going to try to rebuild a computer for two, from 2010. And uh, some of this old equipment stuff might work. What's that down there? That looks like RAM and stuff. Let's see here. What we got? Oh, laptop RAM. Sweet. Lap, that's be good for the laptops that we got here. I guarantee you some of this old crap probably fits it. That or it came out of it. Who knows? It doesn't say what it is. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's 512 megabyte. So it's probably DDR2 or DDR1. Something like that. Let's see here. Here's a full stick of something. Oh my god, that's DDR1. You can just tell by how big the chips are on it. See how big those chips are? That's definitely a DDR1 or a DDR2. There's no telling. Uh, it's a 512 DDR. Wow, this is old, son. Woo! That's like 15 plus years old. What we got in here? What is this? It's a graphics card of some kind. I think it's a graphics card. Let's uh, let's let's open it and take a look at it see what it really is uh, oh. oh wow it's an incredible shape whatever it is it's an old graphics card of some kind maybe it's an audio card no it has to be a graphics card man it doesn't say what it is though like, I don't see any manufacturer or nothing on it. No stickers. So I'll have to uh, Google that and find out exactly what that is. But look how great of shape it is. Wow. I mean, this thing looks brand new. It still has a gloss to it. Brand new. I bet it's never been out of that bag. Ooh, a new drill. Ooh, a drill. Does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. And moving on, we have a 2.5 hard drive. It's a Toshiba. It's an SS. No, it's a mechanical drive. Um, doesn't say what it is. Nope. 
I don't see anywhere if, if it's a 500 or a 200. I don't know. It doesn't say. What else we got in the box down there? Hmm. Oh, I see it right there. It's a 250 gig. Hmm. It came out of a laptop. What is this? What is this? Let's open it. it ah, I can't believe the conditions of this stuff. You can tell this stuff. Unfortunately, it may be old, but at the same time, it looks like it was hardly used. Check this out. What is this? Wow, another graphics card. Another really old graphics card that's like in incredible condition. Look at that. It looks brand new. Too bad it's not like a 2080 Ti or something, you know. It's probably like a... Uh, a GTX 410 or a, a 250 I don't know what it is I'll have to uh, Google that maybe later on I can Google it and find out exactly what it is and then we got this what is this this looks like RAM we got RAM in here oh wow got a whole bunch of RAM in here let's see here what we got what we got we got laptop memory Jesus, we got all kinds of shit. Tons of laptop memory. A 2 gig stick. That looks kind of old. Let's see, is any of this stuff DDR3? 1 gig stick. Doesn't say. Here's another th something. What is this? What does this have on it? 256 megabyte. Wow. Uh, here's some RAM. One gig stick, probably DDR2 or something, but wow, I'm really surprised on all the laptop memory that's in here. This is crazy. What a nice little score this was. And uh, I guess this was like a side panel, which I like because it's it's retro. It's, it's totally 2006, 2010 era. Totally. That's so cool. Um, all right. And we still got another box over there to go through. Alright, so uh, here's the last item that's in this box. Let's see what this stuff is. Hold on. Alright, so this looks like an internet adapter. Like, uh, yeah, it is. An old PCI internet. This was before motherboards came with internet connections in them. Because back in the day when you bought a computer, it, there was no way to connect it to the internet. So you had to get one of these cards to connect so you could read the internet. That's, that's crazy. And I guess this is the, uh, the dual MRS 56K modem riser card. Oh my god, 56K. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, look at this. Comes in a disc. Group 3 fax. What's it say? Fully something, I can't read it. What's it say? Support V90 standard, low cost modem riser, group 3, fully software upgradable, primary something, Japanese and Korea, English, Canadian. Huh. Alright. Oh, look, there was something else in there too. Uh, whoa. Okay, so now this, this right here is a little different. This is like a, uh, a read card. Like you would hook this to a printer or a scanner or something like that and then put that in your computer. But it just amazes me how old this stuff is. And, and yet if you want to build a computer from 2006 or 2010, you would actually need something like that to work. Huh. Crazy, right? Okay, moving on. What else we got in here? Let's see. What's this? What's this? What's this? These are Too Fast, Too Furious. Just what I need it. The Beatles. Looks like it's been scratched to hell. Saw 2. Uh, the Secret. So I think these are just kind of like movies. Um, oh, there we go. The Force Awakens. I don't know if that's a, a game or a video. Wow, that has seen better days. Check that out. Jesus. And I'm assuming that all this is probably just software crap. Nope. Tiger Woods 06. That's kind of cool. Nelson Study Library. Awesome. 
Sims. So these are just like old computer games and stuff. There's a Gigabyte Series 7 utility. Alright, let's see what's over here. This is a power supply. This is a very unusual power supply. Like, it probably came out of a Dell. Out of a desktop or a Dell. Yes. All Molex. Not a single... Yeah, look. See those IDC or IDE, whatever they call them. IDD or P6 connectors. Whatever the hell they call them connectors right there. Yeah, this definitely came out of a proprietary thing. I probably won't be able to use that for anything. Um, what else is in here? Another CD that says home premium retail. I don't know. Oh God, just what I needed. A whole box full of CDs that probably have nothing on them. So yeah, that's great. Just what I needed. More junk. What about all this? Ultimate Boot CD, Windows 7 CD. Um, this just looks like a box of random shit. Let me see here what's in this box of random old school shit. Connectors. Some kind of fan jumper cable. Screws, screws, screws. Oh. Brand new Satus. Alright, that's always a plus. Molex, that's like a clip to a uh, CPU heat sink or something for a fan. Uh, oh wow, check out that adapter. PS2 to old school something, I don't even know. Oh wow, check that out. An SLI bridge for Zeus. Nice. This is nice. This is old school right here. Brand new SLI bridge. Now that is a good score. Man, I need to reopen an eBay account so I can sell all this old shit. If any of you guys want any of this old stuff, just let me know. I'll be glad to send it to you. Just pay for the postage, I guess. And I have no idea what those are. Those are probably old boot switches and shit for grounds. 5 volt. Wow. Crazy. What else we got in here? Uh, looks like we got more memory. Okay. This is a uh, 1 gig stick. 1 gig stick. Uh, more memory. Let's see uh, what this memory is. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, DDR3. <laughs> That's what I've been wanting. DDR3, damn it. Oh, there's actually a couple things rolled up in here. Let's see here. What is this? More laptop memory. Ooh, 4 gig. Laptop memory. Yeah, 4 gig. Yeah, DDR3 laptop memory. Excellent. And there's what? There's like two or three of them in there? Yeah, there's two or three of them in there. 4 gig sticks. Excellent. All right. And let's hope that this is... DDR4, it's not. It's DDR2. It says it right there. DDR2. Crapola. Was that it? That's it. This old ass monitor from like back in the day, all it has is VGA and audio and a power and a CD and a power supply. So, there you have it. There's all of the stuff that I've gotten out of that. A lot of old school stuff, for real. Real old school stuff. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I appreciate you guys for everything you do. Thank you for watching. Share my videos on Facebook. I appreciate y'all. If y'all got anything to say, let me know. See y'all in the next one.